Hey everybody, Riley Kitts from the Children's Campaign coming to you from my living room once again as we are still, you know, what, week seven into this quarantine. Uh, working from my living room today along with my best friend Gunnison, who was really made for the quarantine lifestyle, as you can all tell. Um, and some interesting developments have happened over this last week as it relates to the legislature and the Joint Budget Committee. Um, as you all know, with the coronavirus, we're facing a pretty significant economic downturn that's accompanying this, you know, something that makes the 2008 uh, Great Recession kind of pale in comparison. And the state's really going to have to face some serious budget, serious budget cuts. Right now, the collective wisdom is that it's upwards of $3 billion that will need to be cut from our state budget. And that's really in stark comparison to you know, what was projected back in December when they uh, forecasters thought that we would have close to an $800 million surplus to be able to spend on a variety of priorities. So we're going to have a clearer picture here in the next couple of weeks when on May 12th, the Joint Budget Committee, our state's budget writers, are going to receive an updated economic forecast that really does spell out, you know, how much we're expected to have to cut, how much is coming in from the federal government, and where we need to make up that shortfall. So be, a lot of that work has started, though, now to start to figure out what needs to be reduced or eliminated. And the Joint Budget Committee staff, the nonpartisan staff who work for our budget writers, have had the really daunting task of having to start to recommend budget cuts uh, that, could, that could be taken up. So this last week on Monday, staff for the Joint Budget Committee released their initial recommendations for a variety of cuts for all state agencies and programs. And there's some pretty concerning things in there. When we're talking about $3 billion, that means that programs that folks at the Children's Campaign, our community partners, other advocates have worked on for years and years and years, even decades to get in place that are now on the table to be cut. Now, to be clear, the Joint Budget Committee has not taken any action so far. They meet starting next week on the 4th to start these discussions, and we'll really wait until the 12th to make some of those serious cuts when they have a clearer picture. But just so folks know, things that are currently on the table are things that we care about, like the Children's Health Plan Plus, our child health insurance. We're talking about the family planning program, the very successful reinsurance program, which has lowered state premiums by you know close to 20% throughout our state, is on the table to be eliminated. We have programs like early intervention, the successful child support pass-through. Numerous K-12 programs are being cut. You know, they're talking about raising or increasing the budget stabilization factor, which would mean more cuts to schools, school districts, and students across the state. They're talking about rolling back our school lunch protection program, which makes sure that kids on free and reduced price lunch don't need to pay any co-pays. These are unfortunate circumstances and difficult choices will need to be made. But I want to let you all know that choices have not been made yet. We're still trying to get as much information as possible. That you have advocates here in the children's campaign who will push back and work to make sure that any cuts that will need to be made are done equitably across the board. Making sure that those families and kids that face the most barriers to success are really top of mind as legislators and budget writers have to make their choices. So we're going to keep on working. We're going to keep you all updated. Please feel free to send us questions. Please feel free to keep on asking. And as the weeks go by here, as they begin to meet next week on the 4th, get their revenue forecast on the 12th with the goal of the legislature coming back on the 18th to pass the state budget and a school finance act, we will be engaged with those legislators. We'll be engaged with you all to make sure you're all getting accurate information that we're relaying your input to those policymakers and budget writers it's going to be tough, but we're going to get through it. I just want to say thank you to all those who have been helping us out, who have been engaging with us on great policy ideas on how to weather this storm. And just again, a renewed thank you to all those uh, medical personnel, frontline workers, essential workers, grocery store clerks, who have really been on the front lines of this pandemic, helping us make sure that we're all still safe in our homes. And uh, we really want to say thank you from the Children's Campaign, from the bottom of our hearts for everything you've done. Feel free to keep on checking us out online, caroutkids.org. You know we're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And listen to The West Steps. We are recording podcasts every single week to keep you all updated. Let's get those subscription numbers up. We'll see you all soon.